So someone asked me today, uh, what's the difference between open subdiv and turbo smooth? It's the, uh, there's not much difference uh, when you see it for the first time, they're both uh, subdivision modifiers. What I'm gonna, you know, show you here, what's the difference in this uh, short tutorial, or maybe uh, not tutorial, I suppose. So I'm just creating a cube here, it's cube selector, so it was not a box. And uh, then I'm going to go here, add an edit poly, and then just uh, select everything, uh, select all the faces, that is, go here, uh, copy this value, and uh, go to extrude, paste it, and then we'll just make a face like this, it has all 90 degrees, and uh, that's it. So. Now we'll uh, have this copied two times. So I'll just quickly show you the difference and uh, similarity of these two subdivider uh, subdivision modifiers and how they are similar and different. So first, let's select the uh, most right hand side one, and we'll go to. Uh, edge mode here and we'll just enable cage and uh, on top of it we'll add a turbo smooth modifier we'll just increase the iteration to three and come back to edit fully and uh, we'll just uh, turn off that uh, whole show selected faces not selected edges i think it's called i don't know uh, anyway so i'm just gonna select all of the edge here and i'm just gonna go here, edit properties and increase the crease like this so you see uh, the kind of results it's getting is it's uh i mean it's like an old crt tv monitor uh screen kind of effect uh not the one that we expected i mean the corners are very sharp and the faces are slightly round now if we come to this, I'll just have to select these like this, uh, if we come to this, now what we'll do is we'll add uh, open subdiv to this and we'll just turn off Iceland display, increase it to 3 as well and uh, go back to edit poly and uh, so we'll also have the show gaze here. Okay, so uh, now we're just going to select everything and then we'll increase the crease here. And you see the difference is very apparent. Uh, the faces uh, remain smooth but the corners are rounded. Uh, in Turbo Smooth, the corners are very uh, hard but the faces are smooth and this is the opposite. So we'll just increase it slightly more like this. and. Uh, that's the best way that I can tell you is the difference between open subdiv and uh, turbo smooth. So you see, and I mean, uh, there's a fancy way of doing this as well. Is uh, let me just uh, select the edges here. Uh, select everything, and then I'll just okay. Sorry, I forgot how to do that. You just right click on the spinner to give it the lowest value possible. And then we'll uh, go here, apply a crease set modifier like this between open subdiv and edit poly. Select the edges. Uh, you can also select it by angle here, which you can't do it in edit poly. So this is like a fancy way of doing that. But it's all 90 degrees, so I just press Control A and whatever. And we'll just create a new set, and uh, it's the same thing basically. I mean, only if you'll only need this if you need to select by angle. At some point, I don't know why you didn't need that. You know, you might need it. I'm not saying you might not. And uh, so, you know, this is all good and uh, well. I mean, you know, you can just see all, uh, all those results there. What am I doing? What am I doing? Why am I doing this? God. Okay, it's uh, uh, you know, it's the same thing. But there's another way to do this. Another way to do this would be go here and uh, select all no 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 so all of these has already have uh, their smoothing groups different as they are 90 degrees so we'll just go ahead and apply turbo smooth and we'll click on smoothing groups 
for some reason it don't work. So what we'll do is just select everything and uh, auto group like that. And now it should work. Okay, so it's working. And then we'll apply another turbo smooth like this and just increase its iteration. So see, you know, uh, okay, for some reason it's not exactly as smooth uh, as this, but you kind of get the idea, right? So, you know, if you need it to be as smooth, you can just increase its iteration and go back here and it's, it's the same. Right, um, so this only has turbo smooth, two of them. And this has one open sub diff. We can delete the crease set, and we can just uh, and we can just uh, so yeah, something like that. You know, just like increase the crease set a bit, maybe just you know, like. Uh, there's one way to smooth all these uh, hard surface in this, I'm just showing it because why not. Uh, and so we're just going to go to edit normal, um, select all the normals and unify them. And you have, I think this looks better. Uh, this looks like uh, one of those uh, geometry that uh, shapes or things that are on beaches which are very slippery. Uh, so, you know. So this one has a crease, uh, creased uh, edges with turbo smooth applied and edit normals on top. If you turn off uh, the God, why do we have to sew this? Uh, I'm gonna hide this. I don't know how to hide this. I've never had to do it before. But anyway, uh, if you can see the difference is that if everything's selected, uh, this is with turbo smooth and edit normals this is with open subdiv increased angles this is with smoothing groups and twice turbo smooth same uh, well this is a bit different but you know these two are exactly the same so that's how you get it and that's the difference and similarity between open subdiv and turbo smooth